Unajua kwa sababu hii maneno imekuja hapa mm. hata heri tuambiane ukweli. Mimi mtoto wa Melissa ni mtoto wangu. Wewe me wangu kutoka lini? Mtoto wa Melissa ni mtoto wangu. Lini? Ebu acha drama yeah, zoe. Wacha wangu. Hiyo, no, no, hiyo, no. Kwa sababu hiyo acha ni ambie ukweli. Wewe acha drama, acha drama, yeah, acha drama. Yeah, Mimi ni uongo, acha ni kuambia ukweli. Mimi nilisema hiyo mambo. Wasikizane, uwaonge. Mm, wakubaliane no. Melissa atoke kwake akuje no. kwa sababu huyu ni wako yeye ni mtoto wangu na ule hataki kuzaa watoto wengine anamebakisha no. tu na wawili pekee uliniambia unataka kuoa lakini did you uliniweka no. kitu kaniambia mama maya nilipo, i want to marry another wife i told you about having other kids ulisema mama maya why, why are you doing this ulisema umetosheka na wawili sasa ukoona ukatafuta side chick kule nje umpe mimba kuzalia mtoto mwingine wa nne si nilikwambia uzae watoto ulikataa au ukata Hello angels. I'm Angel Wanjiku and I'm here with my producer Collins. Angels, we are on road to 200,000 subscribers to end the subscribe so that we can get there. And of course, welcome back to the reunion show. Tunajua what goes down here. Mambo ni live live kwa ground. Na kama kawaida I am back in the garden of Eden and of course bado niko hapa with our people of the day. Niko na familia ya Mr. Paul na mke wake Margaret and they have been together for 10 years now. And of course your relationship has been great until ukaanza kuona mambo haiende vizuri eh, kwa sababu ame change na ukatuambia some of the things that uh, amekuwa akikufanyia na uka go ahead to find out more ukapata he's talking to a lady yeah. by the name Melissa Melissa wewe unasema wewe uko na familia yako yeah. and uh, you have been together with your man for four years mkwadi na mtoto pamoja na you are you are not fooling around with a married man sindo yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what you are saying yeah yeah and kwa sababu the reason why tumekuita hapa because she came up with the proof ameona conversations zenu na mume wake ameona venye mnaongelea shana but nyinyi mnasema nyinyi ni colleagues mna mna transact ni business transactions yeah, yeah. anakujia supplies kwako za zinaitwa nini yeah. za wiring na wewe una una, una, una service si ndio yeah. so sasa eh, wewe as a, as a lady of this home i know this is very difficult for you considering your man has gone to an extent amekuambia hata kuwa uh, during this month of love he is not going to be there for you he is not going to cater for your emotions he is not going to take you somewhere kwa sababu atakuwa kazi na ukiangalia vizuri sana ako na mtu mwingine ambaye wame plan a vacation with wewe as a woman how are you feeling right now unasikia <sighs> vibaya sana mm. my heart may broke into pieces yani I don't know mbona ananifanyia hivyo. Sijui ni nini nilimkosea, yani mbona tumefikishana hapo. Mm. The man who used to love me so much, mimi sielewi, sijui. Mm. Si you want to bae. ask him. Yeah. Nataka tukumuliza what nini li, yani ni nini tu imetufikisha hapo mpaka anaamua ku walk away out of our marriage anaenda ku date someone else. Na niache na watoto surely mbona ni nini nilikosa? Shida shida endi anaona ni kama mimi ndio nimechange. Yeye ndiye amechange. Makosa gani nilifanya nataka tu nieleze? Eh? Yeye yeah, anaona mimi ndio nimechange. Lakini yangadi kama yeye ndiye amechange. Huu ni huu ukirudi kwa nyumba. Unajua sasa mimi inabidi hata umetoka kazi mapema lakini lazima ukae huko nje kwa sababu ukirudi kwa nyumba ni kelele. Chakula unatupiwa kwa meza. Eh? Unamtupia Una, chakula kwa yani meza. Yaani anakuwekelea tu hapo na madharao hata nyumba hauwezi utaki kurudi mapema utaki He's... kurudi mapema unamaliza kazi hata saa 4 saa 10 lakini ukae nje na marafiki so you don't tell her these things but now that you guys are here i would want you to communicate more and converse with each other askizi si mtu wa kumwambia ni mtu ukienda kumwambia kitu ameruka makelele alafu ya anaona ya hataki ku hataki kuuliza ukitaka kumwongelesha ameruka na so, maneno mdomo pa 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 pa, 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 pa unashindwa shida ni gani msongea tu msongea tu mwana huyu unajua sasa zingine ni makosa gani nilikofanyia uka, ukafika hapo wewe kwa nyumba mtu akirudi si kelele tu sikuizi si kelele tu hiyo kelele nilianza lini wewe unajua wakati unaanza hizo kelele si after me change hiyo nilichange kwa sababu ulichange ni wewe ulianza ku change Because we used to be so good tulikuwa sawa Ukirudi. kila kitu natufanyia vizuri ni nini hiyo nilifanya tu mbaya ulibadilika hata hata usafi ya nyumba tu 
nyumba tu yenyewe hata usafi ya nyumba haufanyi ukiongeleshwa hautaki kusikia kazi tu ni simu 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 mtakosa aje kufanya kazi mtu akirudi Inda... mtu akirudi kwa nyumba ni kelele tu inabidi hata umetoka kazi mapema lakini ukae huko nje unakaa huko nje tu na marafiki ukipiga story kwa sababu ukirudi kwa nyumba ni mtakosa aje mtakosa aje kufanya kazi zangu za nyumba as a woman nikose kupiga I, dasta kuosha watoto kupika hiyo nyumba, chakula hiyo nyumba hata vile umeiachilia inakaa kichaka siku hizi why you lying i'm not lying hiyo nyumba yangu inafanana nyumba, vile nafanana hivi vile hiyo kamera ina nichuku nafanana hivi nyumba siku hizi inakaa kichaka stop lying wacha kugugua around the bush nataka tu niambie hata nyumba mali imefika siwezi kuja na rafiki tu ati niko, niko na ile okay, confidence napata nyumba ikiwa hiyo ndimefanya hiyo ndimefanya baba maya let me just ask you usi ni baba maya Nitakuita baba Maya, si ni baba yake? Yes, mimi ni baba yake. Mbona unakataa nisikuite baba Maya? Kwa sababu sasa unataka kwanza kunipigia kelele tena mbele ya TV. Na mbele ya watu. Sikupigie kelele na kuuliza. Mbona uende kutembea na mwanamke mwenye amelewa? Unanipigia unani kelele mbele ya watu. No, na kuuliza tu. Mbona uende kutembea na mwanamke amelewa? Si ungetafuta hata wasichana wajaoleka, mtu ameoleka dia kwa mtoto. Nani amekwambia? Umeziona kwa hizo text messages. Si nilikukuta tu vizuri. Aya, sasa wacha nikwambie ukweli. Wewe si ulisema ulisema aje hautaki hata watoto kuongeza. Na sasa hata before umesema mambo ya watoto kuongeza mimi ningetaka tu kujua kitu moja e, mnaongeleshana sasa hizi which is good. Wewe huyu msichana have you married her officially yes, ama mna, mnafanya tu ile ya kukuja pamoja na traditional marriage. Traditional marriage. Mm. Mm. Anajulikana kwenu? Yeah, yeah anajulikana kwetu. Mm. Yeye hata sasa hii ni kibreak hata wakiwa na what is happening sasa hii hata wataamini mm. because wanamjua alikuwa mwanaume mzuri sana. So, na mimi bado mimi ni mzuri. That's why my parents wakakubali. Unaelewa nielekee such a man. Hata nikiwaelezea sasa hii what is happening. Unanielewa? Tu vile nilifanya hivyo investigation pole pole si kutaka nikimbie my family wajue. Unaona? Mm ali unaendanga kwa familia kuongea nao hizi vitu ama you solve between you two. Uyo, yani uwa si, wa kumanipulate vitu uwa na machozi. Si, uwa sipendi mm. sana, unaelewa? What do you mean? Yeah, huu ni wa kumanipulate vitu na machozi. Hata kama uko na makosa hata kubali, atalia mbele ya watu ikae ni kama wewe ndio uko na makosa. Do you know even those... kitu anafanya sasa hii ama wewe uone? Hiyo mm. ndio kitu anafanya sasa hii. So amekuja hapa ndo a manipulate vitu yeah, kwa wewe yes, ndio uko na we. at fault. Eh hey, ana uh, is just turning the tables on. Ninamwekelea, ninamwekelea hizo hiyo message hiyo simu sio umefungua. Uh-huh. Am I lying? It is true. Am I lying? I'm not lying. Na sijaenda home kusema what I'm going through. Mm. Juku kulingana na wedding yenye ile take place pale naona hata hebu kurudisha tena kusema imekuwa ikakuwa na nielewa. Mm-hmm. So najinyamazia mm-hmm. ndio uone nimekuja kwenu mnisaidie. Wacha It's enough for me. Nimechoka situation. Mm. Sasa hizi unataka kuonyeshana mimi ndio mbaya. Mm. Lakini wewe hata ukiambiwa makosa yako nimekuambia makosa yako wewe hauoni. Mm. Hauoni well, kelele tu. Wakati wewe uko na shida na yeye, nilisikia uli mention uko na mandugu zako. Unaendanga kwa mandugu zako mnakaa chini mna mnajaribu ku solve issues. Sasa wewe umeona tu ile hasira siku hizi yako nayo. Mm. Hata ukia hata uki, uh, umeona hasira zile huyu yako nayo. Mm. Hata ni mtu sahihi mnaweza ongea kweli. Hata ni mtu mnaweza kaa chini kuongea kweli. Kama anapiga kelele hivi mm. mbele ya watu. Mm. Je, kama tukiwa na yeye unafikiria anapiga kelele gani mkiwa kwa nyumba? Hiyo kelele ndio inafanya hata uwezi rudi kwa nyumba mapema. Sikupi... I don't even eat in the house. Sikupiga... Because unakuja siku hizi chakula unatupiwa tu. Sikupiga kelele. Nilianza kutupa hiyo chakula the moment alianza ku change for the past three months. Kwenye ni nilisema unanielewa? Unaona? Paka nikashindwa. Bwana mbona una change hivi? Why are you doing this after ku discover nani cheat na huyu ndo nili change? You can't lie. Unanielewa? Mimi si kwa mbaya. Tabia yake nimefanya nimechange. Si story na tabia. Mbona nani cheat kule nje? Ni nini hiyo nimefanya mpaka anatembea na mwanamke mwingine? Paka na lala nje arudi ananiambia ameenda job. Ananiambia mimi job na jenga. Kazi ya kutravel. Hmm. Sasa you expect me tena tena hiyo roho yangu tu nasikia tu kazi my heart imejaa. Hmm. Kutravel na unaenda kwa mwanamke tena mwenye ameoleka. Aje kwa mtoto mmoja. Ni kitravel si. Imagine mbona si ndio wasichana wengine. Si na vitu za kazi. Melissa si tokanya na vitu za kazi. Hebu kidogo Melissa wako hapa. Melissa kwa nini wewe we, we, do you feel happy ukiona another woman crying because of you? But I'm not cheating. Mm. Is the husband cheating? Mm. Sio mimi na cheat. Wala tuki, wakati tumekuwa hapa tukiongea kwa nini ulikuwa unasema akiambia mume wako unaenda kukaa kwake? Kwa sababu atakuwa amenikosanisha na kwangu. Mm. Akinikosanisha na kwangu anatarajia nini? Mm. Anatarajia nini? Wala well, do you feel like your relationship with Haman is, is not professional at all? No, no, no. 
You're not doing anything me and him. Umajuana kwa mdam gani nyinyo wawili? Wa kazi tu. Unajua kwa sababu hii maneno imekuja hapa hata ile tuambiane ukweli. Mimi mtoto wa Melissa ni mtoto wangu. Wewe me wangu kutoka lini? Kutoka lini? Hebu acha drama wewe. Acha wangu. No, no, no. Wewe no. acha ni mimi. Wewe acha drama, acha drama, yeah. acha drama. Yeah. Mimi ni uongo. Acha nikwambie ukweli. Mimi nilisema hiyo mambo. Wasikizane, no, waonge, no, no, no. wakubaliane. No. Melissa atoke kwake akuje. No. Mtoto wa huyu ni wako. Yeye ni mtoto wangu na ule hataki kuzaa watoto wengine. Anamebakisha tu na hawa wawili pekee. Uliniambia unataka kuoa? Did you uliniweka tu kaniambia mama maya I want to marry I told you about having other kids. Mama, why, why are you doing this? Tulisema umetosheka na wawili. Sasa uko ona ukatafuta side chick kule nje umpe mimba kuzalia mtoto mwingine wa nne. Si nilikwambia uzae watoto. Ulikataa au ukata? You refused my friend. You refused. Sasa ukaenda kuzaa na bibi ya mtu. Kwa hivyo ningezaa mimi mwenyewe. Do you know who you dem ameolewa? Ako na bwana yake? Bwana yake hawana mtoto, mtoto ni wangu. Hapana, hapana, mtoto si wako. Wacha ni hapana, mtoto si wake. Mtoto si wake. I only told you that ndo unitumiange pesa. Mimi mtoto si wako. Mimi mtoto si wako. Usiniharibie kwangu. Ah no, mimi si wako. Si wako. No, no, no. Wewe ni mtoto wangu. Si wako, mtoto si wako. Nyamaza mtoto si wako. Hata hata hospitali ni jina langu iliandikishwa. Sasa wacha nikwambie ukweli. Sasa hebu before tufike kwa mambo hospitali and everything. ni jina langu Mtoto wenu yuko na miaka mbili, right? Yeah. 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 Mtoto wako yuko na miaka mbili, wako na mume wako. Yeah. Huyu mtu mmejiona kwa mdamu gani? Umejiona na yeye kwa miaka ngapi sasa? Miaka mingi. Miaka mingi. Eh, yeah, kwa sababu ya kikazi. Yeah. Na alafu mama mambo ika yeah. ikaenda vile ilienda. Eh, yeah. yeah, na itabidi wasikizane. So huyu ulimpende ukamkatia ama what happened? Ni mambo ya watu wakubwa. Ndio nauliza nini iliendelea kati ya nyinyi wawili ndio mkwe pamoja. She was she was serving me well. Acha uongo, acha uongo, acha uongo Paul. 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 Na Paul. Paul. Na no, Paul. No, 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 na wakati hata huyu analeta kichwa saa zingine namueleza namwambia huyu mtu nikaenda kwa nyumba. Simekwambia I don't even eat. Aha. Uh-huh in the house mm. sometimes mpaka nikienda kwake endi amenibebea mpaka kitu na kula lunch jenda na kubebea chakula kwa kazi yake yeah. kule naenda na yeye yeah. kwani unadanganyana mimi mtoto si wako acha naomba ya mtoto we are talking about your relationship with this man kwa sababu ni kama nyinyi wawili mmejuana for a very long time unabeba bibi yako vibaya yes. si kumbeba vibaya So Shazo, Melissa I want you to Shazo, be very Shazo, honest tuambie ukweli tafadhali huyu mwanaume umekuwa in a relationship na yeye kwa muda gani Tumejuana tu mambo ya kikazi kwa muda gani? Miaka mingi. Yeah, Tumejuana miaka mingi sana. Kutoka ni 4 years ama ni 5 years hapo. Yeah, okay. Yes. From 5 years. Uh-huh. Tumekuwa tukifanya tu kazi. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Lakini hiyo mambo ya mtoto amedanganya mambo ya tafadhali atuongee mambo ya mtoto anataka kujua relationship yako na yake venye ilianza ndo tufike kwa mtoto. Ilianza tu hiyo ya customer hivyo. Customer ananunua anaenda. Ananunua anaenda. Hakuna kitu kingine. Are you in a relationship with him? No. No. Kwa nini mtu akuje hapa aseme mko na mtoto pamoja kama how you in a relationship with him? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Have you ever slept with this man? No. Mtoto alikuwa ni mtoto ni wetu. Ah. Labda anaogopa huyu. Wewe wow, unapenda huyu msichana? Sasa kama ako na mtoto wangu. Ah. Kama ako na mtoto wangu, nifanye nini? Ulikuwa unajua? Yaani si I told you. Na baada alikuwa anapinga. Sasa si unaona? Hizo messages zote hizo vitu zote nimepitia unaona ukweli wote ndio hiyo sasa ile sasa amekubali na alikuwa anakataa mama mama ile space yani ndio naniambia yani hivi ndio vinaniaibisha ile space uliwacha ndio yeye alikuwa anajazilia si nimekwambia hata uko ukitupa chakula i have three kids for you unaenda chakula afuta bibi ya mtu kuzalia mtoto mmoja baba maya bibi ya mtu kwani wamezaa naye mtoto ni bana Bwana yako ajui hiyo maneno. Wewe nayo utajua. Hata akijua si wana mm. si mnakuja kuishi pamoja. Nani akuja ishi na mimi? Si are going to be. Nani? Wewe unanichezea wewe baba Maya wewe. Wewe unijui? Ni kama ujai nijua. Heshima ile nimekuwa nikikupea. Enough. Jaribu kumleta kwangu. Jaribu kumleta utashikwa nimeua. Mlete. Sawa. Mlete uone nitakuonyesha. Hapana. Unakubaliana tu. Umesema unamleta. Sijakata mlete. Sijasema lazima mkwenye. Kama utamzika Nijani. Atakaa kwake utakaa kwako. Hmm. Kwake wapi? Nyumba so, yake tutaishi nyumba. Hebu kidogo niulize swali wewe mtoto wako ni wa huyu? Mtoto wangu si wake. Kwa nini unasema si wake? Mimi nilifanya kumwambia hivyo ndo at least awe ananitumia pesa. So wewe ndo ulimwambia mtoto ni wake? E, Mimi ndo nilimwambia mtoto si ni wake ndo alikuwa ananitumia pesa. Kwa nini? So I believe hivyo. Kwa hivyo si unaona. Kwa hivyo mtoto si wake. Si wake mtoto. 
Kwa hivyo mtoto si wake. Madam, hata mtoto si ni wa bwanangu. Si unaona? Yeah. Kwa nini udanganya mume wa watu? Mtoto ni wake. Kwa nini bwana yako hakuprovide? Na mwenye amjai lala, mwenye amjai kwa na mambo na yeye. Alifanya kama ana show. Sisi tulikuwa na mambo na yeye. Na si ati tumekuwa na mambo na yeye. Na mtoto ni wangu na hiyo maneno tumemaliza. Okay. Tumemaliza na acha uongo, acha uongo, acha uongo. Hiyo maneno ah, tumemaliza. Unajua mtu ameoa. Hiyo maneno tumemaliza. Sasa naenda kubona mtu akuprovide. Hata una adabu. Hiyo maneno. Hebu na usinitupie mdomo. No shame. You too. Hey. Nusi niambia ni dhurusirudi kuniambia kitu mimi. Ongea na bwana yako, ongea na bwana yako. Kwa nini na deal na mabibi za watu? Umeambia mtoto si wako, unajikambaka mtoto ni wangu, mtoto ni wangu. Mtoto ni wake. Rudi kwa bwana yako, umesikia? That is our child. That is our child. Nitakukata miguu. That is our child. That's not a your child. He is my child. Mtoto si wako. Wewe nyamaza sasa, nyamaza sasa. Utaribu maneno, usiaribu maneno yangu. Ndiyo anaribu maneno yako. Anaribu maneno yako. Kwa nini anaribu kwangu? Mm. Anaribu kwangu. Wewe kwa nini umeharibu kwake kwa sababu uko nayo? Kwa nini yeah, yeah, ndo ameharibu yeah, kwake? Yeye yeah. yeah, ndo ameharibu. Ameharibu kwake na wewe. Ameharibu kwake na wewe. Mimi maneno yenu inakuwa ngumu mimi. Hakuna maneno inakuwa ngumu. Hakuna maneno inakuwa ngumu. Wewe unajua wewe unajua. Ni mtoto ni wa bwanangu. Mwambie aende akulete nini notification. Hebu kuja hapa tafadhali you don't ignore what we are discussing here kwa sababu wewe kwa nini useme kitu moja na huyu akatae. Even the notification mali mtoto alizaliwa the notification imeandikwa baba mtoto ni Paul Wekesa. Go ask the husband kama ashaiona notification ya mtoto. Sasa hiyo atuwezi tuka, wewe ni kuuleze, because birth certificate ya mtoto inaandikwa jine ya baba. Jine ya baba ni nani kwa birth certificate? Is it huyu ama ni huyo bona? My husband. Your husband. My husband. Yeah. So huyu anasema nini? My husband. Mimi chana asama sijui. Yani mpaka uneza ruka? Na ruka, juu sijui mambu unasemea. Sijui mambu unasemea. Sijui anything unasemea. Mtoto ni wangu na bwanangu. The birth certificate na notification. Ni mimi niko nayo. Sasa ngoja na niulize wewe uli, ulikuwa akiza. Nilienda mpaka hospitali. Alikuja hospitali ukiza? Ye, ye. Jioni okay. ali jioni History. nilienda hospitali. Hii tulijua na nilikuwa na mimba. Hiyo gani? Hiyo ya kunini. So he came as a friend. Uh-huh. As a friend to the hospital. Okay. Lakini mambo ya notification jina yake no inasema jina ya mtoto ya baba yake Kamau si jina yake si jina yake hiyo ni uongo kwa nini ana sema ako na birth certificate na notification na mtoto ni wake hakuna niko na vitu zangu zote niko na vitu zangu zote was the husband in the picture when you went to the hospital yes he was he was there he wasn't there he came i can even call my friend chris we came with chris to the hospital okay Yes. Huyo uh. tu Chris unaambiwa tu huyo. Kwa nini unadanganya na Paul? Kwa nini unadanganya na Paul? I came yeah. I came with Chris in the hospital. Uh-huh. Yes. Wakati alikuwa pregnant, were you there taking care of her? Yes. Uh. You only did that cuz I needed you. Cuz I yes. needed you yes. as a friend. Yes. You only did that. Yes. Alikuwa hapo ndo ashughulike tu. Mm. Juni nilimwambia. Sasa wakati ulikuwa Aliku... hapo for her when she was pregnant, mm. ulikuwa unajua kona mtu. Mimi mama mtu wake hata ni ngumu. Huo uh. mtu wake imekuwa ni on and off on and off. Okay. Na huo uh. mtu ilikuwa tu ni cover up. Okay. It was a cover up. No. Mm. No so, you lie. Ni kwa pamoja huyo mtu ilikuwa si ati wako in a relationship. Mm. Mm. Ilikuwa ni cover up. Paul mm. we have just be friends na friend yetu friendship yetu imekuwa mambo na uwe client ni kusave hakuna kitu kingine na sasa ata, maybe ata, 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 friendship hata ukiangalia ukitaka kujua ukitaka kujua hata pia unadanganya una, una watu uh-huh. utaambiaje watu imekuwa tu friendship ya biashara uh-huh. alafu kuja ni danganye mtoto ni wangu uh-huh. utanidanganyaje mtoto ni wangu uh-huh. kama hakujakuwa na kitu mtoto hajakuwa wako La, lazima kulikuwa na And kitu ndio unidanganya si ni kweli wacha tu reason kusho interest something is not adding up am i right si ndio yes. Utan, we unaweza mka tu useme mtoto wako ni wangu si lazima kulikuwa na kitu yes. ama kumekuwa na kitu yes. and that is where i'm coming naweza notification ya mtoto naweza jipata tu na kama mimi si baba Mm-mm. niende tu hospitali na nipatiwe mm. eh? so i want you to tell us the truth your relationship yako na mume wako imekuwa on and off ndo maana you needed this man in your life yeah it was on and off mm. but nisema amekuwa tu mzuri yeye mambo ya ku provide yes amekuwa ki provide but mtoto hajaikuwa wake mm, kwa nini umwambie mtoto ni wake 
ali show interest okay ali show interest sasa sasa as tunajuanga ukitaka yani show interest aje hata kama nime show interest mtoto anaweza kuwa tu wangu si lazima something has been happening na it has been happening even before kwa na hiyo ball Ndio. Na ndio maana hapo ngoja na ndio si kumprovoke mimi nataka tu si kumprovoke na weka vitu straight ndio hata akikuja hata akikuja nikichukua mtoto wangu na yeye pia wote wakuje mambo itakuwa wewe unataka kuwachukua wote na mtoto wa kwa bibi yako na mtoto wewe tu wewe niache kwangu nikuje kwako Niache kwangu ni kuja kwako kufanya nini? Na huyo mtu mko na yeye juu huyo mtu. Huyo anataka tu kusinya bibi yake. Si anataka kusinya bibi yake. Si kumsinya. Wacha tu. Hadi. Anataka kumsinya tu. Hakuna mambo mimi na yeye tuko. Madam kwa sababu hao watu wawili ni kama mlipanga nao mnilete hapa. Sawa sawa. Wacha tutakubaliana yeye na yeye wajue kuanzia leo. There are two wives she's the second one una jaku sema nini a second one una jaku kuna vitu kama hiyo bebe wewe una kona mambo mengi sana usiniharibie kwangu usiniharibie kwangu ni second wife ai ai utashikwa wataka our culture our culture permit our culture permit i am mletenda kuonyesha yes ni kama is it 10 years ujai juu umeoa nani ai eh umeni provoke mleta za second wife ni takuonyesha wewe melisa na wewe sijaribu kanyaka kwangu mimi hata sijiti ana anasema niko na kwangu na mke ana boma boma ni mwanaume na anaweza leta mtu si wake si wake ana kirudi nyumbani nitakupa hata unaishi nyumba unaishi nyumba na ujai ona birth certificate ya mtoto mwingine Unaishi oh. nyumba na u, the, oh. all the documents una unasema yes na ujai nyumba ni yangu let me ask something so wewe na huyu mlikuwa na plan all along atakuwa mke wako yes and no. it was supposed no. to end, no. end, end game ilikuwa no. ni hiyo no. eh yeah. na wako nini unakataa historia yote haupendi huyu wale jamaa wamekuwa na yeye okay. so kama kuna venye naweza act ni jifanye mimi ni nini wake which nilimwambia wewe kama utanilipa ni sawa Unasikia sana eh? au... lakini mimi mambo ya kuwa na relationship sijawahi kuwa na relationship na mpaka akaniambia mtoto ni wangu hiyo ni acting sani ulize kwa sababu wewe it seems like you know the husband of this lady so much hebu yes. niambie kuhusu relationship yao kwa sababu ya asemi she is always complaining okay. na ukweli uh. amekuambia sisi tumejuana miaka miaka mingi mingi na en... tano sita okay. na bwana yake uh. wamekaa miaka ngapi sisi Mekande. tumejuana hata kabla ajuane na huyo bwana yake si real bwana huo okay. bwana ni curtain unamjua unamjua so, kulingana z- na hata ye usimulize uh-huh. Nyu- mali wanaishi uh-huh. ni nyumba ya huyu okay. sawa sawa yeye ndiye analipa rent huyu uh-huh. jamani kukuja tu alikuja okay. and actually now to be specific it's actually my house wendo unamsaidia kulipa rent unatanganyana no you're lying you're ah wewe una uongo mingi house. sana sasa uko na maongo mingi sana hapana hapana it's only my house paul the idiot Apana. the idiot should just leave Usifanya the house usifanye ile shimani na kwa nini sasa hizi shuke the idiot should go back to where he came from no so, that's sawa. my house that is my, and my space uh-huh. unasikia yes. that is my space uh-huh. and from today uh-huh. the idiot must live otherwise i'll go with people to throw him out, out of their bwana. neighbors that hata kuna bwana. majirani hapo sawa they know me okay. wanajua huu ni jamaa tu alikuja tu uh, bandika husband uh, yes. hakuna kitu kama hiyo hakuna kama huyu ni mtu wako kwa nini kwa nini umemwalao hebu niulize kwa nini umemwalao akuwe na mzee mwingine kwa nyumba ambayo yeah. unamsaidia kulima she, she wanted to force marriage anaogopa huyu kwa nini ungemtoa ungetoa bwana unashika na mimi ukweli ni kwamba nilikuwa napatia huyu time nione kama atazaa watoto wengi wengine lakini kwa sababu amekwama na huyu si kwenda tunaenda kuanza tunaenda kufanya nini kuendelesha because we already have one child tunaendelesha adhai watoto wengine wawili ama watatu we continue kwa sababu na yeye amekwama amekwama so, ataki niulize before to, 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 to put some evidence huyu Alikuwa anakubali kukoa bibi wa pili ama alikuwa anakataa mke wako anataka mkuwe tu nyinyi wawili? Yeye ali tulijuana kama already I have the wife. Okay. Sawa so sawa. She was comfortable with the wife being in there. In the beginning. Okay. In the beginning. Uh-huh. Yes. Ana mimi si juu shetani mgani alikuja kumuingia huyu kwanza anahitaji kuombewa nyota yake. Ah oh, mimi mambo ya uongo wachana nao mambo ya uongo wachana nao. Mimi kuombewa nyota yake. Mimi sinileta mambo ya uongo. Eh kwa Mani, sababu uh. si juu mali alipoteza ndio akaanza kukata. Uh. Otherwise from the beginning she was very okay. Akaanza kukata kukua na bibi wa kwanza. Kwa eh uh. lakini initially uh. 
hata akipata mimba uh-huh. alikuwa amekubali tu Okay. Na wamejuana mm-hmm. na bibi yake miaka ngapi? Ujue mtu anadanganya. Ni sawa, ni sawa. Mm-hmm. Uko na simu yako. Collins uko na simu yake. We want to see your your your, your messages with him. We want to see some few things kati ya wewe na this man. Ndio tujue ukweli ni gani. Tusaidiane na simu yake. No, my phone is private. Hapa hakuna kitu tunapeana. Hakuna kitu tunapeana hapa. Peana simu, give no. the phone. No, no, this is my wapa. phone. This is my phone. Na kila kitu hapa na phone. Bono nakata. Bono nakata. Leta hiyo simu angalia huko yote yenye tunaongea hapa inyo nakata. Yeah, hapa. No. We are not Peana going simu. to go through anything else. I just want to see conversations zako na huyu. Just give out the phone. Hakuna conversations ziko. Nasema ni girlfriend wako. Give out the phone. Hapana. Unajua. Tafungulia tafadhali. Tabaki na yeye na mimi naenda na watoto wangu. Mwanze ya fresh. Peana simu. Na kama nadanganya. Mm. Eh? Mm-hmm. Kama Ebu, nadanganya. Uh, magi songea kidogo. Songea kidogo utoke namba ya mzee wako tuone yeye amemsevaje. Mm. Mamsev baby love why? Hey. Hey. Ukweli yote leo. Mimi nimesema kana mimi. Nimesema mimi ni mwongo. Umesema mimi ni save nini? Baby love. Kwa nini umemsave baby love? Nimpea simu maybe hata yeye ndo amesave. Eh ameweka namba. But wewe umemsave baby love. Mimi sita msave baby love. Maybe ili jisave. Ni Maybe ili jisave kimakosa. Okay. Buti wake pata tena. Aya, nitaanza tu pole pole. Nataka tuende kwa messages. Unasema wewe ndio umekuwa kimprovidea. Mhm. Aya, Mpesa na Mpesa jina yako inaleta ng'a Paul Wekesa mimi inaleta nini? Paul Wekesa. Mhm. Mm. Copy messages? Ndio hii. Tupitie your Mpesa statements kidogo. Tuone. Angalia yata, hata angalia ya tarehe tatu Mm. ndio nililipa hiyo nyumba. Eh. Mm. Angalia message ya tarehe tatu. Ule mtumia nini pesa ya rent? Eh, angalia. Bibi yako anajua history yote yenye unatuambia hapa? Ajui. Mm. Na si lazima ajue. Mm. Ivo nunaongea matope, si ndio? So tarehe tatu, tarehe tatu ule mtumia pesa yes. ngapi fifi? Sawa. Oh. Tunione tarehe tatu. Aya. Confirmed. Eh uh, ume receive 15000 from Paul Wekesa. Hiyo ni third of third of this month ndio hii hapa. Amemtumia pesa ndio hiyo. That's true. So hiyo ilikuwa pesa ya nini? Nilimitisha tu pesa akatuma. Ya nini? Tuseme ilikuwa ya kazi. Mm. Uh, ilikuwa ya, tuseme ama ilikuwa. Ilikuwa ya kazi. Umeenda tare tatu hiyo ni tarehe tatu 15000 haya rudi tena tarehe 28 na pena zote za kazi hizo zote ni za kazi ndio maana anakumbuka dates zote ni za kazi tarehe 28 28 january so 28 ulikuwa unamtumia ya nini upkeep upkeep eh unamtumia ngadi upkeep na ndio maana bibi yako ana complain sasa si umeona kweli yote i used to complain kuhusu pesa Eh si nilikuwa na complain kuhusu pesa. But, pesa yote na choto ukimwaga huku. Nakwambia leo kucho. tuone utabaki hivyo. Paul aache uongo. Pesa na tumanga ni ya kazi. Hakuna pesa mimi naenda kwa kazi ya kukula. Mm. Eh? Ah, naona hapa hiyo 28 amekutumia 5000. Umetumiwa 5000 on the 28th. Hiyo ilikuwa ya nini? Kulingana na kazi anafanya anaweza unitumia 5k ya upkeep. Mm. Aizi nitumia ni ya kazi tu. Ilikuwa ya kazi. Ya kazi. Mm. So alikuwa anakulipa. Eh, hey, alilipa vitu, alibai vitu akalipa. Mm. Alichukua deni. Hapana mm. hiyo siku. Alichukua deni ndio kuja kulipe baadaye. Hakuna baadaye alilipa. Hiyo siku si alinunua ananunua vitu in cash. Mm. Achukwangi deni. Mm. Ananunua in cash. Hata wewe unatoka kuomba naume hata nikwambie. 
Na ana, wewe naenda. Anakuja, ana anakuja mnakuwa nyinyi wote. Wacha tuone. Tukitoka bani ndo kuchukua watoto wangu naenda. Narudi. Anakuja mnakuwa nyinyi wote. Muanze afresh. Kwa first born huyo mwenyamweza huyo wa kwanza, uzee wengine juu nataka watoto 10. Naenda. So, ebu kidogo sasa tuingia kwa your messages together. Nataka nione mnaongeanga nini huko. Leo ndio ile siku. Mtanikuwa hapa. Kila kitu giza mnafikiria mtaonekana haya niko kwa chats za wewe na baby love hii maneno hata tumemaliza kuna conversations mingi hapa na some of these conversations ni zenye ulikuwa umetuonyesha zile screenshots yes yes those are the, the recent so, recent chats shetani anakutumia shetani gani nyinyi so, mlikuwa mkifanya vitu kwa giza ndio hii tumekuja sijui na mapema shetani anakutumia haya mm. hebu kidogo tusikilizane hapa wewe unamtext unamwambia sijui alikuwa amekutext nini but unamtext hapa kwa 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 WhatsApp unamwambia I'm fine babe thank you so much for always taking care of us ukamwambia good night hauku reply haya hapa ni siku nyingine wewe unamtext unamwambia unamwambia leo nitapitia saa I hope umekuja na Byron. I really want to see him. Byron ni nani? My son. Wewe una text unamwambia, I hope umekuja na Byron. I really want to see him. Uka text ukasema, "Hapana, leo sijakuja na yeye. Alikuwa na homa so nimemwacha home na my sister." Uka text ukamwambia, "And why didn't you tell me about that?" Ukamwambia, Niliona tu akiwa na fever usiku but it's nothing serious. Uka text ukasema I really want you to cooperate. Ukwe unaniambia details about our kid kwa sababu niko very much invested. Wao kamwambia nini? It's okay. Thank you. Hamkuongea tena. Wewe hapa unamtext unamwambia sexy lady uko aje. Wewe ukamtumia malafing emojis ukamwambia leo umeamua kunispoil na maneno matamu. Hivyo ndivyo mlikuwa kifanya. Na si ni mwenzako. Ni mwenzangu. Mm. Sawa. Si ni mwenzako. Sawa baba Maya. Utaanza fresh. Wewe ndio utapotea. So, Watoto hawezi potea. Sasa ngoja niulize. Watoto hawezi potea. Byron, okay. Byron ni mtoto wako na huyu. Hakuna mm. si mtoto wake ni mtoto wangu na bwana. Kwa nini hapo unamwambia mnaongea kuhusu Byron ukimwambia kwa na fever anataka kukuwa involved? Amekuwa kisho interest na mtoto. Hizi uh, messages ni za kitambo by the way. Uh, Nimeenda yes. juu kabisa kwa simu yako. Amekuwa yani ni beshte tu kutoka kitambo. Uh. So amekuwa akitaka kujua venye mtoto anaendelea. Uh. Na mimi tunamwambia anga jua tu na kitu na yeye. Uh. Yeah. Unaendanga na mtoto kwa duka ndo akuje awaone? Hapana, ni venye tu utabeba mtu mzazi venye anabeba mtoto wake. Uh. Yeah. Wewe unaendanga kuona mtoto wako kwa duka akiwa huko? Yeah. Akimpata anasema hata nilikuwa nimemwandikia house girl. Eh. Ni house girl alienda. Eh. Ndio unasikia amemwacha na sister. House girl na bibi yako anateseka. Bibi yangu pia alikuwa na house girl. Hey. Kama simu domo yake siendi alifukuza house girl. Uh. Alifukuza house girl. Uh. Eh? Wote. Uwe. Wote. Leo unaenda kwako peke yako. <laughs> Huyu house girl wake. Usinitaja mali. Eh? Hakuna mali naenda mimi na wewe. Nilisa. House girl ametoa kwa kina mama yangu. Uh. Huyu ametoa tu shago kwetu. Wote niliwapatia house girl. Hakuna ni uongo anadanganyana. House girl wa huyu ni vile ameenda. Na yeye huyu house girl yake unaona hiyo mdomo wako nayo? Hivyo hivyo ndio alifukuza house girl. Ukitaka kutupiganisha nitapoteza unapoteza sawa. Hakuna mtu napoteza. Cut this there. Mniambia what you are thinking. That's been it from me and as always giving up should never be an option. Bye.